Welcome back. Aren't you tired of seeing inputs like this? This? Or this? Well, fear no more because in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to do this one. So we have an input here with name and when we click, we get this nice transition. Then we can type something and it stays like that. So our label floats up here. If our text is valid, it turns blue and there we go. We can delete this and close. Awesome. All right. Well, this one, I really wanted to cover this one because we're going to learn so many cool new things that you can do with CSS. And that way, that way you can customize this however you want. So before we start, as you can see, I also became a bubble and not a square anymore. Maybe in the future, we're going to become a triangle. We're learning code and we're learning shapes at the same time. All right, so let's get started with our HTML. Here, I'm going to add a title. We're going to name this animation input. Now, you don't need this, but I'm adding it just to make everything clear. Whoa, what the hell we're we doing here? So down here, we're going to add a form div. And here, we're going to add an input with the type of text. We're going to add a name of name and required. And we should see this sucker pop up here. Now, I'm also going to remove this autocomplete thing just to make everything easier to see while we're doing this animation. So for that, you can actually remove it with auto complete off. And there we go. You're not going to be able to see this again. Boom. There we go. So down below here, we're going to add a label. I'm actually going to add a class to this. So we're going to say class label name just to have a good representation of what this label actually is. So label name and also rather than adding the text here, so like name, I'm actually going to create a span here and add name here and also add a class of content name to this. Okay. So content name basically represents oh, only the actual text of the label, okay, the content. So that's why I added content name. And why do we add this to a span and not on the, the label? Well, we actually want to do a lot of the animations with the label itself and not the input. So we're going to see this in a bit. So just add a span inside the label and hit save and we can move towards our CSS. So back in our CSS, we're just going to add some basic styling. So we're going to say body. I'm just going to select the body, add a height of 6 TVH, which is the size of our monitor. And just add some basic styles with Flexbox, just what we can see visually here. So everything looks decent. Again, this is not important. So justify content. We're going to say space around here, align items, center, save. All right. But we want this to go vertically. So we're going to say flex direction column. And there we go. We have a decent looking thing here. Also, let's add a font family. So grab your family and bring them to the sheriff. Good. All right. That's good. I like that. Um, we can move on to our form. So we have that form div. If you remember, if you don't, then I'm going to remind you. All right. We have this form div. So we're going to select this one and we are going to add, let's go a font size of 16 pixels, which I believe it's 16 pixels anyway. So never mind. Yeah. Let's just <laughs> get rid of it. Uh, we're going to say width. Let's add a width to this. Let's say 50% of this, make it a bit bigger. We're going to add a position of relative to this. And then we're going to add a height of, let's say 50 pixels. Okay. So we have a bit of height to this. We can visualize this if we add a background of blue because it's a blue, blue Christmas. All right. So this is the size of our form. Basically this position relative does nothing yet, but we need this just so we can mess around with our inputs and our labels and everything like that. So yeah, you can remove this. Just, <laughs> we don't want that. All right. We don't want to, if people see that they're just going to cry. So we're going to select our form input here. All right. And we're going to add a width of 100 here and a height of 100. So we're basically making our input the size of the, of the form here. Okay. That's all we're doing. Now, the thing we're actually be doing is we're going to make this invisible. All right. We're not going to be working with this border here, the 
um, form input border and you're going to see why in a bit. So besides this, I actually found a cool color that you can add. You can add any color to this, but I'm just going to add this one, um, which is a bluish type color. Good. Uh, then we're just going to remove the border. And before I remove the border, I'm actually going to add a padding top of 20 pixels to this. All right. Good. So basically our input starts down here and not up here. If we remove this padding, we're going to see that it's up there and we're going to add this to move it a bit down there because we're only going to work on this bottom line here. So we're going to remove the border here like this. All right. It's going to look messy a bit. We're also going to remove this outline in a bit so we don't see this bluish color. But I'm not going to remove that for now, just so we have a visual reference of where the input is. So let's just move on to the label. So we're going to say form label here. We're going to add a position absolute to this. Remember, this is why we added a relative to the form. So we can easily uh, adjust things to the size of this. So we have the position absolute here. We can add a bottom of zero pixels which is always going to be at the bottom here, as you can see right there. We're going to add a left zero and we're going to make this the height and the width of the form as well. So we're going to add width and not width again. Let's add a height of 100 like that. And as you can see, it's the height of our input and our form. Good. Now, if you want to have multiple for, uh, inputs here and labels, make sure to, this is going to be a real form. And then maybe you can encapsulate all of these in another div here. So you can do a like name, name form, name section or whatever you want. And then you do this with this. Okay. But since this is only one example, I'm just going to do it basically like this. Um, so, but the problem now is, since our label is positioned over our input, so if we add the background, we're bringing back the blue Christmas again, okay? So it's the base, it's the same size again as our, uh, as our form and as our input, but this is on top, okay? And we are not able to click on our input. Look, I'm typing and nothing works. So the way you can remove that is with pointer events. So if you say pointer events, but it's not position, ugh. we say pointer events, you say none, you can basically click through this normally and it doesn't affect uh, you can have anything on top basically it's just gonna ignore it and you can click on the input so good awesome and now what we have to do is on our form label we're actually gonna add the illusion that this is our input because we're gonna be able to animate this very easily with our input uh, with our label, I apologize. So what we do is we say border bottom here and we're gonna say one pixel solid black and we can see our beauty, our beautiful border here. Good, awesome. All right, let's go on and do something really fun now. So down here, we can do form label again, the same thing we have up here but we can add a after to this, all right? And what this does is after our label, we can add additional styles. So here we have to define something called content and set it equal to nothing. But basically what this does is we can add additional content after our label. However, we don't want additional content, we just want additional styles. So what we can do here is just say position absolute again, like this. Uh, we can add a height of 100, 100%, width of 100% again. So the same size as our label. All right, this is gonna look after the label. And we're gonna add a border bottom here. So again, border bottom, three pixels, solid. We're gonna get this blue color. As you can see, we have this good looking border here. So now all we have to do is position this right on top of this. 
So we, what we can do is just add left of zero pixels and we can add bottom of zero pixels and boom, it's right on top. Actually, you can see there's like a slight, because we have the previous border there. So we have one pixel there. So we can just re remove that by, as you can see, this is one pixel. So we're gonna be, we're gonna see the other one there. So what we can do is just say minus one here and then it should go on top. Let's do minus two. Oh, never mind. I'm moving the left one, not the bottom one. Huh. Rookie mistake. Boom, there we go. So now it's hidden. So we don't see anything. Good. All right, so as you can see, this is what we mean by simulating the, the input um, border. This is not the input border here. This is the label border. And why, you might ask yourself, Ed, why are we struggling with this crap? Why do we need to do after on the like? Why cannot we just do it on the input? Well, we cannot do it on the input. You cannot use the after on the input. You can only use after on things that you can actually add content to. So those are labels, p tags, uh, headers. So it's not gonna work. Here, we have this going on. And what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna add a transform translate x men we're gonna move this back by a hundred percent so it's completely out of frame but as we can see it's not out of frame because it's there well we're gonna add a overflow hidden which is gonna hide everything we're gonna do that at the, towards the end so we're not gonna be doing it yet here our content name we can add a position absolute again we can move this down bottom let's add five pixels so we are individually moving this and controlling this so this is the power again with the positioning you can add and just move everything the way you perfectly want to move them so left we're going to say zero pixels i'm going to add a transition all of 0 0.3 seconds ease because now we're going to start with the animations all right you ready this is gonna be a bit tricky, but we're gonna get through it slowly and nicely. So we're gonna start our form here, okay? So form input. So when we click on this input, we want this text to go up like there. So we can use the focus. So every time we click on the input, every time we focus on this input, we want something to happen. Well, you can use the plus tag here and we can basically affect our label and how it behaves so we can say plus uh, I named this label name I believe and you can use this plus for every content that's below the um, input so if the label would be up here it would not work so that's why we put it below here so we can add this plus and select it here so we can do plus dot label name and then we're gonna open up this gorgeous thing here like this. We're gonna say transform. So we're basically, every time we focus on the input, we're affecting the label, okay? That's what we're doing. So we're gonna say translate, translate Y. So that's vertical. And we're gonna move this by minus 100, let's say 100 minus 50%. Let's see how that looks. Does it work? Yes, it works. Are we having issues with it? Yes, we have. Why? Well, this is the reason why we separated our label and our span. So we can easily add our animations on, the, on these borders and everything, but keep this content separate. So if we wanna separately animate the span, we can easily do it. So rather than having this all move, we can just do label name, and then we can do content name. Boom. As you can see we got this animation going awesome now let's also change the font size here so we're gonna say font size 14 pixels and if we get this blue green of a color here and we're gonna add this we're gonna change the color as well awesome all right we're almost done so now that you know oh, look that's not good. We write things and when we click off, this comes back. How do we fix that? Add a sucker of a slash here, a comma, and we're gonna select form input again. Form input again. 
we're going to say when this is valid, this works because we added the required on our input field. So when this is valid and it's good uh, text, then we can do the same thing. We're going to say label name content name. All right. So the same thing we did here. The only difference is we just added on valid, not on focus. That's the only difference. So as you can see now, boom, the thing stays there when we add text. Great. All right. What else is there to do? Well, we can remove this outline now because we have a visual reference of where the input is. So if we go back to our input, we can add a outline of none, which is going to remove everything there. Good. That's good. And all we need to do is move this sucker in this line here. So what we're going to do is do form input again on focus. Again, almost the same thing. We're going to do label name, label name after. So label name after it's this, this line. So the label name after we want to do something with this slash. And we also want to do form input valid. So again, with the valid, we're just going to repeat this. So with the same style stay and here I actually did a mistake. So every time we focus, we want to plus this label name after. All right. So almost the same thing we did. We, we did up here. It's nothing complicated. So when our form is valid as well, we're going to say plus, we're going to do label name again, plus label name, making sure everything is okay. After. Okay. We're just working with this after one here. We want to transform, translate. If you remember, we did X 0%. Let's see how that works. Boom. There we go. Now, if we go to our after here, we can add a transition to this as well. Transition uh, 0. Point all 0. 0.3 seconds ease. You can do transform here if that's the only thing you want to animate. Boom. There we go. Beautiful. Everything works nicely. Last thing we need to do, go up, 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 back to your form here and add a overflow of hidden. And there we go, everybody. You have a gorgeous looking form. So there you go. Hopefully you learned something new today. I appreciate you being here with me and please drop a subscribe if you enjoy this content and have a beautiful, beautiful, Blue Christmas. <laughs>